And so I would like to invite uh, Ronald to join me on the stage. Yep, so Ronald is uh, with uh, Signify, and he'll be telling us about additive manufacturing for lighting applications, the state of the art, and uh, opportunity. So good luck. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, today I would like to talk about lighting, and it's called a lighting journey in sustainable technology development. And uh, my name is uh, Ronald Manungs, and I'm part of uh, Signify Corporate Innovation. Uh, my presentation will, will be more general, and more zooming in in the sustainability aspect of printed electronics. Uh, yeah, you might say Signify, who is Signify? And um, about seven years ago, the Philips company decided to split in two, the medical part, which is still is Philips, and the lighting part, which became, after a few years, uh, Signify. And we are now uh, fully separated from Philips. Uh, we have our own stock exchange listing in, uh, in Amsterdam, in the Netherlands, and uh, a fully independent uh, company. And uh, yeah, we see ourselves as the world leader in lighting, and we are offering uh, uh, light sources, luminaires, but also offering uh, system and services. Uh, and by the way, we are not active in automotive lighting, but more in general lighting, so office lighting, industry lighting, but also in the home, home lighting. And uh, you still see the name uh, Philips there, and that's because we have a brand license and we're using the brand name Philips. So if you go to a shop and would like to uh, uh, buy a very nice lamp bulb, then most probably you will buy a Philips lamp, but that's our Signify product. Uh, leading in lighting, leading in conventional, still also in LED, leading in connected lighting. I will come back to that a little bit later. You see our turnover, number of employees. And what is important here today is that we are in the top 1% of the Dow Jones Sustain Sustainability Index already for years. And we are very proud on that. And that's also for us the main driver to look to printed electronics technologies. Uh, yeah, so a very long time ago, suddenly there was light, as also written down. So over day, during the day, the sun is giving the light. And in the evening, there are several alternatives. It started with wood fire, and then the oil lamp was invented. And relative, well, not that long time ago, also the candle was invited. In combination with electricity, uh, a person called Edison uh, invented the incandescent lamp. And later on, there was a discharge lamp and uh, the fluorescent lamp, and there was also a compact version of that invented. And in the late 19th century, the LED lamp was invented. And in combination with the right phosphor to make white light, that's now, of course, the standard. And if you look to the... Uh, tremendous um, yeah, efficiency achieved. So it started with 10 lumen per watt, and now already we are above 200 lumen per watt. And here you see an overview of a couple of products uh, which are related uh, to that. And um, yeah, I think it's fair to say that uh, we now we are still offering more and more light for less energy. And in fact, our sustainability story started already in 1879 by Edison. Um, and that has also had led to the ban of the incandescent lamp, uh, which given a tremendous reduction in the global energy uses. Uh, and now, even in the combination with LED lighting and connected lighting, and uh, with that we have the possibility to also to integrate sensors and then we know where people are in the office, and with that we can only uh, have their light when the people are there in the right room, and with that we can even go further with energy reduction. And in 2030, it is expected only 8% of the global energy uses will, uh, will be uh, linked to lighting. Is that enough? No, of course not. This is great, this is nice, but the planet uh, needs much more ambitious sustainability goals. Uh, 